our hearts have to be open to another way of seeing. We're not seeing correctly at all. We're seeing with distorted perception. We need to really have our heart open. We need to have the blinders taken off of, of, of our eyes. But more so, we have to start to realize the power of the mind. Like you, I grew up thinking there were powerful people in powerful countries, and people with money had power, and there was military power. I didn't realize that I was totally mistaken about all of that, that the only power there is is the power of God and the power of mind. That the power of mind is what needs to be recognized. These are all just projected ego pseudo powers. You have to realize that your thoughts are extremely powerful because God created your mind, so anything that you put in that mind, anything that is in that mind that God gave you is, is going to, to be so, so very powerful. The ego made the whole cosmos so that you would be asleep and mindless that you would so much forget your mind that you would take on the appearance of a body and then more than the appearance you would believe that the body was your reality that the perceptual world of time and space was your reality that's why desire the wanting the power of prayer all that is so very important because that's the core that's the core of it all and that's really what spiritual devotion is about. It's about minding your mind and, and really watching what's on my altar. What is on my altar? Because whatever I hold on my altar, I will experience.